Hi, this is Fred Hennis. I am speaking to you from the Colwell Den, and I want to, on this Daily Dose, talk about how we will finance the remaining balance of the Open Door campaign for our campus renovation. Uh, I shared in the cost uh, video, which I did, I, I believe, t what, two days ago, um, that we are going to need to raise $75,000. Uh, this includes uh, about $8,000 that will be contingency um, for the just in case. Now, let me explain that our uh, the budget itself has a, a contingency already built into it, but we're looking at just to round things off $75,000 that's needed to come in between May, June, July, and August. Now, when it comes to giving here at Gateway, um, first, let me make this statement. This is not an appeal for you if you do not call Gateway Church your home or if you're just exploring this church and begun visiting us recently. Um, this is really something that the members of Gateway or those that call this home are going to make happen or that God will make happen through them. We, and I can say this because I believe God also, we don't want your money. God is not primarily interested in your money. He's primarily interested in you. So don't allow any talk of money or any appeal of money to get in the way of you drawing closer to God through the ministries we have here. But let me go ahead and explain um, how giving works here. We're an independent church. There is no organization over us where we can ask for money. Um, we are completely uh, independent. And when it comes to funds, we have three ongoing funds, and now we're opening up a fourth. But the three funds are, number one, the general fund. Money given to the general fund is used for payroll. It's used for um, operational expenses. It pays utility bills. Uh, it pays ministry expenses expenses. It what, it's what allows us to keep our doors open. Typically, we would ask people um, three things or four things about uh, giving to the general fund. One, that you do it as a percent of your income, that you would give uh, joyfully, that you would give sacrificially, and you would give regularly. Um, and that's the number one priority of giving here at Gateway. Uh, number two is we have something called the Faith Promise, and that's how we support our partners, both locally and globally. And once a year, usually during the month of November, we uh, highlight all that God is doing through our chart, church with our partners in the world. And we ask you to pray and to seek God's will for how you might be able to participate in that and make a pledge towards that over the next 12 months. And then whatever God reveals to you, you follow up and do. And if God doesn't reveal anything, then by all means, don't give to the um, faith promise. But uh, that's the second one. The third is our benevolence account. And benevolence is used for really helping um, people in need when a time of need or crisis comes. That is always a free will. Just if God puts it on your heart, you would give to that. Uh, occasionally, the Lord speaks uh, to Meredith and I very clearly on this and asks us to give. Uh, but And we respond when he does. Sometimes that's uh, a, a whole year could go by and we don't give to that fund. Other times it's more frequent. But those are the regular ones. And that's the that's the first. All of those are, are the priorities. But now we've got this open door campaign where we're asking for a total of $75,000. How that's going to work is, you know, if you're already, if you have an income remaining still today, even in the midst of COVID, uh, you're already taking a percent of that and giving it to the general fund. You've already made your promise and you're giving it to uh, the faith promise, our global and local impacts. Local impact, by the way, also includes Fridays at five. And uh, maybe you give occasionally to benevolence, but now here's this other thing. And where do you get the money to give to that? And I would say for most capital campaigns that a church runs, uh, those come out of uh, savings. Those come out of your tangible assets. I know over time, uh, it could be something that you've accumulated, maybe a, a, an unused automobile, a motorcycle, a boat, an RV, that you're saying, hey, let's just sell this. Could be some jewelry. It could be some type of collection. Um, you know, that is that has value to it that you can just say, let's convert that to cash, give it to the church. And that's one way. Another way is just to look at your savings and just say, you know, Lord, what would you have us to do? And we're going to dig a little bit deeper here and uh, and give that extra. Um, the key thing is, is that there's prayer that you're asking the Lord, Lord, what would you have us to do? Uh, we we personally believe that seventy five thousand dollars is um 
is reasonable for God to stir in the hearts of his people. Uh, we don't expect everybody's going to be able to give. And clearly, we don't think everybody's going to be able to give the exact same amount. That's not what we're asking for. We're just asking that everybody would pray the same about it and would give... Um, at the same level of sacrifice to this. And I know for us, um, for my wife and I, when we give to this, which we've uh, already decided to do, and we're just focusing on the amount, but when we give to it, um, it will come out of our savings. Um, we, that's just the way it is. And we're good with that. We're good with that money. You cannot take money with you to heaven, but you can send it ahead. And uh, so we're very comfortable with this and believe it's a God honoring thing to do with the resources he's provided us. So we are gonna keep track of that. You'll see in the bulletin, um, which is on our website, you'll be able to see there uh, the $75,000 budget, which we're gonna lock the budget part of it's locked. And then we're gonna have a, a weekly update as to how much has come in against that 75,000. But thank you for listening. Thank you for considering. And uh, again, if you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to be able to answer them for you. But thanks for this consideration to, to be a partner with us in this project. God bless you.